Shalom, 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 shalom. All right, to you, hopefully, elect scattered abroad. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you, sincere and you hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. All right, I'm your fellow servant, Malachia. All right, coming in <clears throat> with another lesson. All right, and this lesson is basically going to entail into uh, 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 force not the course of the river. All right, I was just, uh, that thought just came to me in my head uh, earlier this morning on my way going to work. <clears throat> and uh, I said I was, I was going to go ahead and do a lesson on it later on in the evening. I just had a whole bunch of stuff I had to do after work. Um, but now I'm in a, a good setting to where, you know, I can be able to do the lesson and, you know, Lord willing, you know, this lesson is, uh, edifying, all right, until you occupy and aquatium, all right? And, um, yeah, you know, we don't, we don't want to, uh, force the course of the river, <clears throat> all right? Because the Lord has, all right, a set road, all right, for the elect, all right? And with that being said... All right, we all have to go through the straight gate. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and get that right quick. Uh, in the scriptures, uh, let me get the light right quick. All right, so this is the book of uh, Matthew. It's, uh... Yeah, I don't got my 1911. I got my other Bible. So let me see if I can find it. Um... What is it? Um, I think it's Matthew 6 or 7. So, lucky. Give me one second. Okay, there it is. Matthew chapter 7. And we can start at verse 13. Okay. It says, Enter ye in at the straight gate. All right. It says, For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go in thereat all right so many people okay meaning looking at the nation of israel looking at uh, uh the two-thirds of the nation of israel here in babylon the great they are not willing to go through the straight gate all right these are the people who are fighting okay against all right the course of the river all right by being rebellious all right not uh, abiding and, and listening all right to the law statutes and commandments okay so you don't want to fight the course of the river all right and when you do that all right it's going to lead you to destruction because you're not entering in at the straight gate it's only going to be the elect that's going to enter in at the straight gate all right that place all right of difficulty all right, it ain't gonna be an easy road. All right, you're not just gonna swim your way, or even uh, 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 even uh, walk your way into the kingdom. All right, because the scriptures say, um, uh, through great tribulation, all right, shall ye enter into the kingdom. Okay, so it's gonna be much, much tribulation. It's gonna be much, much suffering. It's gonna be much more uh, uh, pains and sorrows. All right. Leading up, all right, until you entering into the kingdom, all right. But the Lord has given us the Comforter, all right, to comfort us, all right. He's given us His Word, okay. That's dwelling within us, all right, to uh, uh, to push through, all right. So you don't want to not utilize the tools of what the Lord has given us, all right, especially in these last days, all right, for us to uh, to be able to. Be of good cheer, be of good comfort, all right, and to, to endure into the end, all right, to go through that straight gate, all right, to take on the afflictions and things, all right, of what the Lord has given unto us, all right? You don't want to be as a two-thirds and, and, and fighting the course of the river and, and going, all right, and, and being rebellious, you know, speaking to myself first and foremost, all right? This is the thing where we're going to have to go through uh, 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 the straight gate. We're going to have to go through the place of difficulty. It's not going to be an easy walk. 
even though the Lord uh, 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 said that what uh, uh, that this burden, all right, is is is, is light, all right. This is what the, what we have to go through is it's a light thing, all right, all right, because we're all doing it for what Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so let me read that again. Going back in Matthew six and verse thirteen, enter ye in at the straight gate. All right, we got to enter in at the, the, that that gate of difficulty. All right, if we want to uh, receive, all right, the kingdom. All right, we're gonna have to go through that place of difficulty. For wide is the gate. All right, it's very wide. There's many people that's going. All right, the way of destruction. It says, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Many of our people are, are led themselves into the way of destruction. All right. So let's jump back into uh, the book of, uh, oh, let me finish it off. It says, and many there be which go in thereat. So that many goes into what? The, hey, the nation of Israel. And really, you look at the rest of the world. All right. But really mainly here in America. All right. Many of these people here, they finna go into the way of destruction, all right? But this only applies, all right, truly, all right, to the Israelites that are rebellious, all right? But going back into the book of Sirach, chapter 4 and verse 26, be not ashamed to confess thy sins, all right? You don't want to be ashamed, all right, to confess thy sins. Confess your sins before Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all right? Confess all your faults before the Lord. All right, be sorrowful, be merciful. All right, so that that day that he will be able to hide you away from his great wrath that he's about to put onto this place. It says, enforce not the course of the river. All right, let me get another quick precept in, um, what's that? Proverbs. It's like one of my first scriptures I learned when I was, when I first came into the truth. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 24. It says, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? All right, so the Lord puts us, puts, puts us on our path, okay? And that's the path that we're supposed to, uh, uh, to walk in, all right? So if we are of the hopeful elect, all right? We are are going to go through that that straight gate all right no matter what he's going to put a spirit on us to what to endure it all right and that's why the scriptures talk about it in the book of uh, i think it's what the the couple chapters before that in uh Sirach chapter two all right whatever comes upon us we're supposed to take these things cheerfully all right not trying to fight all right let's say like um you 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 try to get this one thing, but the Lord already have it set for you to get this, and you trying to, you know, trying to go against the the will of the heavenly Father. All right, you fighting the course of the river, you fighting the course of whatever the Lord has got set for you. All right, and then now you are gonna get chastised for it, cause you fighting against the course of the river. All right, it's like when someone is in the river and they're trying to swim against the stream. All right, it's hard. All right, but the Lord is making it to where you're supposed to be able to go with the course of the river. That's why we're supposed to take these things on cheerfully. All right, as these afflictions and these different sufferings and things come our way, take these things cheerfully. All right, it's the Lord that is guiding our path. All right, it's not us. All right, we don't have free will. It's the Lord that's putting this. All right, uh, uh, um, uh, this path right before us. Uh, what's that in um? Job, is it Job, Job 33. This is the book of Job 33 and verse. Mm. And um, I'm trying to find another good point. I'm going to start at verse 12. It says, Behold, in this thou art not. No, verse 13. It says, Why? Does thou strive against him? For he giveth not account of any of his matters. For the Most High speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth not. All right. Many uh, people don't perceive what, uh, 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 you know, what the Lord is, uh, is saying. All right. To you. 
all right? And he, he can say it through a brother, all right? He can say it through uh, maybe different events in your life. All right, and it's what it's to it's it's to guide you on that same path. It says for us a lot. It says verse fifteen in a dream in a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instructions. All right, he's instilling your instructions the the day before the uh well the the slot the, the day all right that you get ready well the day before all right whenever you wake up. All right, whenever you wake up, the Lord already programmed into your spirit, into your life, all right, what is, is um, what's going to happen, all right? But when these things and afflictions and things come your way, all right, you can't run away from it, all right, because the Lord put them in your uh, life for a reason, all right? So it's not a time for you to be trying to fight the course of the river. It says that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. He keepeth back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. All right. The Lord does these things very strategic. All right. He sees things are far ahead of us to where we can't see. All right. So we're not supposed to fight the course of the river. All right. He already set everything for us. All right, we're supposed to take these things cheerfully and keep pushing, keep going, keep enduring. All right, like the scripture says, he's not going to put more uh, uh, more things on you, all right, that you can bear. All right, he's going to give you just enough. Okay, going to he's going to give you, he's going to get take you, put you in that heat, he's going to take you out, refine you, put you back in that heat. All right, take you out. All right, that's the Lord. All right. Uh, 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 furnishing and, and you know he's he's putting you and making you all right into all right his image he's forming you into his image all right by the way of that that river uh, slot that that course that he's got set for you all right so we're not supposed to uh, uh force uh well fight against all right the force of the river we're not supposed to strive against it okay we're not supposed to force, and we're not supposed to uh, fight the course of the river. When it says force not the course of the river, all right? The Lord has put things in our life for us to go through, all right? To experience, all right? So that we may gain wisdom, all right? Through these things, this uh, 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 experience, okay? The Lord gives us experience through these different things, these trials and tribulations, all right? We're supposed to endure these things, all right? Not be as the two-thirds of the rebellious who don't want to go in the way of what the Lord has set for them, all right? This is why they're going to go into the way of destruction, all right? And ultimately, when you look at it, you know, ultimately, all right, it's the Lord. He's truly, all right, guiding everyone, all right? But you got our rebellious people just fighting against the course of the river, man. All right? Just go with the flow. Go with where the Lord has set for you. All right? And fight not the course of the river, man. And you will see that the Lord has uh, 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 already planned, all right, your every step along the way. You just got to keep asking. You got to keep praying, all right, for him to keep revealing certain things unto you. All right, and all these things is going to come to light. All right, the Lord, like the scripture says, Amos 3 and 7, the Lord revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. All right, he's revealing things unto us. All right, as we're on this path, as we're on this walk, all right, that we may keep uh, uh, fighting and enduring until the end. All right, so remember, all right, force not the course of the river. All right, so wherever the Lord has set in your life, don't get mad. Don't get sad. Don't cry. All right. Even though these things could take a toll on your mind and, and things like that. Just don't fight the course of the river. Don't force it. Just go with where the Lord uh, is taking you. All right. Because the Lord is guiding your path. As we just read early in Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings is of the Lord. Who, uh, how can a man know his own way? All right, so just know that it's the Lord. He's always in control. All right, you know, you know, Jake. He always, hey, I'm talking about myself. You know, Jake always got to learn it the hard way, but you know, you learn it. All right, 
but eventually when you learn it you see it all right for you know what the lord uh has in store for you all right you just gotta not fight the course of the river all right and take these things on cheerfully all right because it is for your betterment all right so a hey, lord willing this lesson was edified to you akim and akwatim i want to give all honors and infinite praises to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rakakwadash double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who are taught us this truth and who rule well peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth i'm your fellow servant malachia shalom